Yeah, anytime extreme weather strikes like tornadoes, hurricanes, and windstorms, power is jeopardized. While these threats are pretty well understood, there is another threat to the power grid that sits 93 million miles away. Uh, power line? The August 10th, 2020 derecho knocked out power to 1.4 million customers in the Midwest. Iowa alone saw 585,000 power outages at its peak. Powerful natural disasters on Earth can dismantle the power grid, but there's another threat out there that could impact the entire globe low probability, high impact events. Associate Professor Gregory Howes at the University of Iowa studies the sun and solar flares, strong storms on the surface of our solar system star that can have a big impact here on Earth. You can induce huge voltages in our electric power grid, and that can actually burn out the massive uh, transformers that are the size of you know, a, a standard house. Um, it can burn those out. Um, and those, you know, can take weeks to be repaired or perhaps replaced if they're damaged severely enough. Power providers like Align Energy are well aware of the threat solar flares can pose to our Earth-based infrastructure. Align often takes part in exercises and drills simulating a threat to the grid like solar flares. These exercises allow energy providers to prepare for that potential solar threat. So this is then provided to our generating stations in order to monitor for anything unusual, um, unusual voltages, uh, reactive power, abnormal temps, noise, and transformers. The grid does have ways of protecting itself in the event of solar flares, plus forecasters actively monitoring the sun for potential threats. There are other, more extreme measures to protect the grid if a solar storm is forecast, but that does have consequences everything in the United States, our whole economic engine, everything depends on the power being turned on, right? And so there's an economic cost to shutting down the power grid out of caution. On March 13th, 1989, a powerful solar storm impacted Earth. In just two minutes, the electrical current caused by this event led to the entire power grid in Quebec, Canada failing. The grid was tripped in the northeastern United States as well, while the U.S. was able to get back online relatively quick, millions of people in Canada remained in the dark for more than 12 hours. It was sort of a proof of principle that, look, this does happen. It can have an effect on the power grid. Keep an eye on this. Uh, to help prevent something like this from happening again, the nation's Space Weather Prediction Center in Boulder, Colorado, now has a direct line of communication with utility companies to alert them when a storm threatens. Reliability coordinators, or RCs, are positioned across the U.S. and Canada on call 24-7. So we pick up the phone. That sets off a call for all the RCs. So we do a quick roll call. This all happens within a minute. And then we transfer the appropriate information to the, to the 20 or so RCs. They take the information. Any questions? No, good, go. The hope is that this new communication can limit the potential impact from these massive solar events. The fact is, they haven't been truly tested, not since society has become so dependent on electricity. And, you know, the last time there was one of these massive solar storms was about 150 years ago. So, uh, you know, the, the, there's a, a very low recurrence rate and we don't quite know when the next one's going to happen, but it can happen. Now we are heading into our next solar maximum. There's so much information on this topic. We have a full story right now at iowasnewsnow.com.